Victoria. I will always respect and honor you. I promise to be the man you fell in love with, to always give you my best, and to never lose sight of the reasons we fell in love with each other. I promise to be a God-fearing man who consistently works towards a stronger faith and will push you in your walk with Christ. I vow to always put our marriage first. I will never prioritize my career over you because there have already been some rough work days and those problems fade away when I see your smile or hear your laugh. And finally, I promise to never give up on you and to never let go of us. To succeed in a lifelong marriage, we have to communicate. If we have problems, we will talk them out. I will always uphold the value of this covenant with God and give it my all. Most importantly, I'll never forget the weight of a promise and what it carries in our relationship. Promises made or promises kept. Tanner, as we enter this covenant with God, know this. Where you go, I will go, and your God will be my God. I vow to love you during the times when God is testing our faith. I vow to always be there to catch you if you fall as you have done for me many times. I vow to never stop falling in love with you. I promise to always encourage you, listen to you, and be a safe place for you. I vow to always treasure you and remember that this is a love that only God could have designed. I promise to do all I can to never let the energy that you have for life die. Tori is a strong-willed woman, and I know that Tanner knows that. But in the times that she needs encouragement, I know that you'll be the one to provide it. I feel safe that you have Tori. Tanner just has so much passion for love. And he just loves so hard. And he was just waiting so long for this perfect girl to finally come into his life. And finally senior year, on their way to the ACT, which I didn't know, is when Tanner finally decided that he did find the right girl. And I'm so happy for him and I think that's so cool.